So we are living in an age of foldable devices. Smartphones have already done this. Companies like Samsung and Motorola have come out with a foldable phone. But now you're looking at the first foldable laptop, the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Fold. And first, is this a laptop? I don't know. I mean, to me it looks like a tablet, but Lenovo calls it a laptop. It has laptop components like an Intel processor, a fan, 8 gigabytes of RAM. But no matter what you call this, either a laptop or a tablet, it's meant to be both. Now, if you see a lot of the reviews online, a lot of people throw a lot of shade on this device. And a lot of those complaints center around the price of this device, and I completely agree. I think this thing is completely overpriced. But if you take away all those preconceived notions of this device, how it's overpriced for the specs that you get, there's no market for a foldable tablet or foldable laptop, take all those away and just look at the design and the engineering of this product. It's actually really cool. Lenovo essentially took everything from a laptop and stuffed it into a tablet. So there's a fan in here, there's 8 gigabytes of RAM, like I said, there's an Intel processor. I mean, they basically had to re-engineer everything to make it fit into this tablet. And not only that, they had to account for the fold in the middle of this device. And it folds with these accordion type hinges. It's very smooth, very nicely designed. More on that in just a minute, but first for the ports, you have two USB-Cs. One is on the bottom of the device and one is on the side. They're very close together, but both can be used for charging. You have power and volume rockers on the side of the device, and then you have some holes for ventilation and for the speakers. It has a five megapixel front-facing HD camera. Now, obviously they couldn't put that right in the middle of the device because of the fold, like most laptops, so it's a little bit off-centered, and the back is really well-engineered as well. This has the black leather on it, has the ThinkPad X1 logo on it. It looks great. It honestly looks like a book from the back. And as you open and close this device, the leather kind of moves with it on one side. In a completely flat tablet position, the leather covers the entire back of it. But as you close it, the leather shrinks on one side of it and it exposes the Intel sticker along with a little bit of the glass of the tablet. While the other side stays completely covered by the leather. And that's because this has the foldable stand that pulls out. So essentially when this thing's completely open and in a tablet like position, you can pull out the stand and basically prop this up so that you can use it hands free. You could pull out a Bluetooth keyboard and use it like a laptop or just have it propped up and use it as a tablet. And this just goes back to how well engineered this product is. Lenovo could have just stopped and said, you know, here's a foldable laptop, look at us, first one ever, how cool are we? But they really took their time on the back of this device, made it look great and made it super functional as well. Okay, so let's get to the display and the fold. First, the screen is beautiful. It's OLED, it's 13.3 inches, it gets nice and bright. I have nothing bad to say about this display, in fact, it's one of my favorites. So essentially you have two accordion type of hinges that are opening and closing the display. And to account for that, they have this rib type of texture on the bezels. And a lot of people wanna know, can you see the crease from when it's opening and closing? And the answer is yes. I mean, on almost all devices that fold right now, you're gonna see a crease. But I will say that the hinges and the folding action is pretty smooth, considering that these have to be strong enough to hold this in many types of positions without it being wobbly or loose. And speaking of positions, you have three main ones. You have the completely open tablet type of position where you can either hold this like a tablet or use the kickstand on the back to prop it up. You can fold this into like a 90 degree angle and use it as a laptop that way with a smaller screen on top. And you can either use the virtual keyboard on the bottom or use a Bluetooth keyboard. The virtual keyboard is nice and responsive, but again, it is a virtual keyboard. So how much you're gonna wanna type on this, I'm not quite sure. And Lenovo does sell a Bluetooth keyboard made specifically for this device. This keyboard will magnetically attach to the screen, automatically connect, and then wirelessly charge as well. But you're looking at another 230 bucks for this keyboard on top of the nearly three grand for the product. It's getting to be really, really expensive. Or you can hold it in landscape position, fold it 90 degrees, and use it like a book. And when it comes to performance, I have kind of a mixed bag. I mean, this comes with the Lakefield Intel Core chips. I have the base model, so I have the Core i5, eight gigabytes of RAM. That's pretty good for most things you're gonna be using for day-to-day -day tasks. But this also runs Windows 10, which is optimized for touchscreens, but for a foldable touchscreen, not so much. So you're kind of always trying to find a workaround for that foldable aspect of this as you're kind of contorting this in different positions. You're hoping things will resize or move around the way you want them to, but they just don't right now. 
And obviously with this being the first foldable PC, all the apps that you typically use on the day-to-day -day are also not gonna be optimized for a folding display. So again, you're just kind of doing some tweaking here and there to get the best performance. One nice thing is that this does have pen support, which a lot of folding devices don't right now. So that's a really nice touch. And after using this for a couple days, I have some really mixed emotions about this device. On one hand, I see this as extremely innovative. I see it as extremely well engineered and just a really cool product to use. But on the other hand, I'm sitting here and thinking, why? Why do you need a foldable laptop? Because for phones, it makes sense. You want a bigger display, but you also want something that you can put in your pocket and take on the go. So in order to do that, you need something that will fold. But for a laptop, I mean, we already have ultra portable laptops that are less than three pounds. And for instance, when you fold this in half, it actually is pretty thick. It's thicker than my Dell Latitude business laptop. And it's kind of chunky too. I mean, it's 2.2 pounds, which is getting pretty close to that ultra portable laptop weight. And most tablets about this size are a little bit over a pound. So at 2.2 pounds, this is gonna get a little bit heavy to hold in a tablet position. So I'm trying to envision a use case scenario for this. And a lot of people mention, you know, people that travel for business or something like that, where you don't have a lot of space. And sure, that might be a scenario, but if you're able to shell out three grand for a foldable laptop like this, I think you can probably bump up to a seat that has some extra space to put a laptop on. And if it's that Windows laptop tablet experience that you're after, why not go for something like the Surface Book? Because comparing base models, Surface Book is $1,000 less than this device. And you get that Windows tablet, but then you also get a physical keyboard with that device. So I sit here and I look at this laptop, tablet, whatever you want to call it, and I think it looks so cool. I think it's so well engineered. And if that's what you're going for, just kind of that wow factor, sure, go ahead, buy it because it is a great device. But I also feel like it's kind of a show pony because it's tough to recommend this with so many other great options for so much less. So if you're an early adopter or just someone that wants to bring this into a meeting and just wow your clients and you have three grand to just throw around, go ahead and buy it. I mean, like I said, it's a very cool, very well engineered device. But for everyone else, listen, you can get some top of the line laptops for this price. So look at other options. You might end up saving a lot of money and getting a better device. And while I'm having my get off my lawn moment with the new technology and the new folding laptops. I'm not completely dismissing folding laptops for the future, simply because the software is just not optimized for it yet. And when it does get there, this might be awesome to use. I have no idea. Hopefully we get there someday or some other company might pick up this design and do it better. Lenovo might have a second version of this that's even better. Who knows what's gonna happen in the future. But for now, I have to give big props to Lenovo. This is, again, very cool, very well engineered. However, you completely outpriced the market on this, so I don't see this selling very well, but that's just my opinion. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. I have a lot of cool new things I'm going to be reviewing soon, so subscribe. Stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.